everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Sean, and for those of you returning, welcome back. So how is everybody? I feel like I haven't spoke to you in ages and I think it's six weeks that I haven't spoken to you. And that is because August has been a very, very crazy month. I have been able to spend some amazing time with some amazing friends and family. And so that is why I haven't been around that much. And so I am finally sitting down to speak to you all and I am really looking forward to spending some time with you and sharing with you my stitchy updates. And there's quite a lot. I am very much feeling the autumn vibes at the moment and quite a lot of you are as well. I'm really enjoying seeing everybody getting out their autumn whips. And I actually realized this morning that I don't actually have any because I'm really, really tempted to start my autumn um, projects that I've kind of got in place or planning to put in place. But I'm really, really close to finishing um, a project and I'm kind of hoping to finish that really, really soon so I can really get on the autumn train with everybody. So just want to go into a life update, really tell you what has been going on in August. And something really, really exciting happened in August, which I am going to share with you. And that is that I got to meet a very, very special lady called Evelyn over at Evelyn Across the Pond. You all know who she is. And yeah, I got to finally meet her. She, um, Evelyn and Nico, her lovely fiance, drove up from Cambridge to meet me and Brett here in North Wales, which I'm completely honored by. And we had the most amazing time. I think the pinch me moment was really when we went to create nostalgia together which was so much fun. It was amazing. Um, and we bought a few things, which I'm going to share in the video now. And I'm sure Evelyn will also share over on her channel as well, the, uh, the big massive haul that she got from Create Nostalgia. So that was amazing to go to our, you know, a local, um, needle shop and share that experience together. It was, I remember walking into the shop and saying to Evelyn, are we really actually doing this? So we're really actually here together. And yeah, we had just the best time. We got to see, you know, a few things, a few local um, sites, seeing things. We were really careful, you know, with the situation that we're currently in at the moment. So we did spend quite a lot of time indoors, um, which was also lovely. We played board games and stitched, um, although we didn't get as much stitching done as I thought we probably would, but that's probably a nice thing because, you know, we just got to spend time all together as a four and yeah we we had just the best time um we got to go and have like a picnic um on one of the welsh mountains near us we got to go to some like castle remainings because evelyn and nico are both historians so we took them there and yeah it was just it was great so yeah the beginning of august i was really kind of away from social media, spending time with um, Evelyn and Nico. And then when Evelyn and Nico left, we then had some more friends come who we hadn't seen in two years. So that was amazing. And we also had some family members stay with us. So August has very much been a jam packed social month. And so I'm actually surprised at how much stitching I've got to show you today, but it is kind of six weeks worth. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to share with you is a fully finish and that is the Home Sweet Home 2021 by Pantini Pantini. I think I shared this either in my last video or the video before that as a finish and I have finally finished it. So I started this as part of my Stitch Mania and I started it on the 2nd of May and finished it on the 11th and it is now finished. So I just framed it in this black and white frame. Maybe you can see that okay. And yeah, so I framed it in this black and white frame, which is just from a supermarket. 
And I do have the glass out of this because of the button that is in the design. And I've just stuck the glass back into the frame so that if I ever change my mind and I do actually want to put the piece back with the glass, it's already in the frame because I don't really have, um, I don't really want to be storing lots of different glass pieces everywhere. So I think if I can, um, if I ever do anything like this, then I'll just take the glass back in the frame. So yeah, I really like this frame because I feel like the black and white in the piece and the black and white in the home here is really, you know, it kind of brings that out with the frame, I feel. So I'm really, really pleased with how this has turned out. And this is currently living here with my other pieces. So we will leave it there for the rest of the video. So that is my fully finish. So let's move on to my new start. So my new start is the Butter Believe It by Silver Creek Samplers. And this is the project that me and Evelyn are stitching. And we decided that we would stitch it when she arrived here. So that is what we did. We started it when Evelyn and Nico arrived. And this is currently in a new bag that I made. And this is the bag, um, this is the material that I shared with you in one of my recent hauls. And um, yeah, it's a matching bag. So me and Evelyn decided that we would like to make a matching bag for the project. So I didn't actually have this ready in time for when Evelyn arrived, but she did actually make me something which I'll show you shortly. So yeah, this is my bag, which actually turned out reasonably well. I'm actually quite pleased with how this one um, turned out still not amazing with the sewing machine, but we're learning. We are getting there slowly with it. So this is currently on um, Pull Stitches Pearl Opalescent 32 count. I said that in a really weird way. <laughs> and this is my start. So I didn't get as much stitching done as Evelyn. And so she managed to get a lot more done than me. But this is as far as I've got. And I love this material. I don't know whether you can see that in the camera, but it is, has such a lovely, lovely speck to it. So that is the start of that. So if I just put them up together, you can see how far I have got. And it was so lovely to, to start this together. It was, it was lovely. And we did take a picture together on the last day, I think it was, we took this picture and um, yeah, it was just, it was lovely to, uh, we sat down together and, you know, we started it together and um, yeah, it was just, it was lovely. So, that is my new start for the month and Evelyn very kindly made me a little pouch to match the bag which was really really kind of her and I basically lived out of this pouch whilst I didn't have my bag so all my threads I just kept inside and it has the pink material inside to match and yeah, so she made me this lovely little pouch and she put her little um, logo as well on the pouch as well. So Evelyn actually has a tutorial on how she made this, which was amazing to watch knowing that the bag that she was making was for me. If you would like to make a little pouch like this, maybe you have project bags and you'd like to make a matching one, or maybe you're new and making a bag is a bit bit too far for you maybe you could start with something a little bit like this so she has a, a lovely little tutorial over on her um, channel and I will link it below so you can maybe make one the same so yeah thank you so much Evelyn um, I got quite a lot of stitchy kindness and this month and feel really really grateful so yeah thank you so so much for that and then the other thing that I have with this bag is my my mum made me something as well and so she made me this little thread catcher. I don't know whether they're called thread catchers or we'll, we'll call it a thread catcher. So she made me a matching thread catcher which has 
the lovely um, fleecy material inside and basically that catches um, your threads and she put also put this little um, bit of material in here so I can put my needle in there, a spare needle in there as well. And I love how she she made sure that the sewing machine, you know, the pattern on the on the material was was the bit that she put in. So feeling truly grateful, all of these lovely items to go with my bag. So we now have I feel like this is this is what I need on every bra every bag now so uh, yeah every time I have a new bag I feel like this is the full set that I need um, so yeah love love all of these and thank you Evelyn and thank you mum for making me the lovely items to go with the project so what do we have next the next one is Chorus Line and this is by Valerie Pfeiffer Harmonies and this is the project that I am currently stitching with my sister and I haven't stitched on this in some time so I'm going to insert a picture of where I was last time. And here is where I am now. So I am close, I am very very close to finishing this piece. So there are in total six birds, which you can see here. Hopefully you can see that. And so I am now on the fifth bird. And it is so, so pretty. And I kind of decided to pick this one out because I felt like the colours in the birds were a bit more raw to me than anything else. So I decided to pick this one out and oh, I just love it so much. It is just, it's so much fun to stitch because there aren't loads and loads of colours. I'm really enjoying the, the colours and I think the blue and the oranges just look so nice together. And I just love how there's just this little leaf on the bottom, just one little leaf whilst they're just sitting on the little uh, tree twig. Um, so yeah, I'm just finishing off this one. So I was stitching this one this morning and I've got one more left and then it'll be done. And I just think this is just gonna be so pretty when it's done. So that is the chorus line. I'm really hoping to finish that this month. Um, that is kind of the plan with that one is to finish it this month. The next one is by Chrisetta Gogo and that is Spring in the City. Love this. This one is very much happy vibes when I stitch on it. And this, oh, this is where I was when you last saw it, nearly forgot. And this is where we are now. So I was very much inspired by Mouse Potato Designs Felicia, who is also stitching this on some beautiful blue um, fabric that she hand dyed. And she was showing this in her latest video and she's actually doing it quite textured. So instead of doing a cross stitch for the flowers, she is doing a French knot and she's also doing different kind of textures of the French knot, French knot. So some of them are kind of like bigger than the others and it's just amazing what she is doing. So she very much inspired me to get this one back out and uh, put a bit more stitching into it. And it really is just so joyful to work on. Um, I'm sorry, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a mess because I've got some threads hanging. Um, but yeah, I'm loving this. It's definitely gonna take me some time and the bit that I'm working on at the moment is definitely the biggest bit in all of the design. So the florist shop is definitely the biggest bit. Um, but it's just so many like bright colours, you know, it really does shout spring. And as I've mentioned, I am going to be, I think I'm going to remove the spring off the piece so that I can have it out all the time. Um, 
But yeah, it's quite big, 237 by 266, um, but it's just, I just, I just feel really happy when I'm stitching this. And um, even though it's on linen, I'm not as big of a fan of linen. This is actually okay to work on. This is just 32 count um, Belfast natural, you know, linen. And uh, yeah, I'm just loving this. It's just so bright and happy and yeah, I, I really enjoy it. So that is the next whip. So my last whip is the Bothy Threads Render Designs style that I am hosting and I am doing the Buttercup. And I am doing this to match my lovely mum Bothy Threads a piece that I have finished and that is still to be framed and I think I'm going to frame them together as I think they would be really nice to go on the wall together. So yeah, this is my project that I'm stitching and I have really, really been enjoying everybody's stitching in progress. I love it when you guys tag me in and I get to see the projects that you're working on and a lot of you are doing a lot better than I am because I have been a little bit behind. Um, we are now on part three, which I haven't started yet, but that's okay. We've still got time. So this is where I was last time. I think when I showed you it, I had just finished part one. And so this is where I am. So I have now completed all the way to the right side. So if I get put them side by side, you can see. So I am on this side now. And what I'm thinking to do, because I am a little bit behind, because obviously part three came out on the 20th of August and we're now in September, there is less stitching with the ducklings on the top than there is on the bottom. I originally thought I would do all of the bottom because that was the biggest stitching area. And so I think as I'm a little bit behind because of, you know, obviously August was really, really busy and didn't get to stitch as much. I'm thinking to go up and do this duckling now. So I am going to start working back up, which is why I've left, I've left my threads there ready for um, this, that stitching. So yeah, I'm going to work up here and then I'm going to move across and then I'm probably going to finish on this side um, in the last parts. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this and it's, it's amazing to see, you know, you guys who are taking part, all your progress and yeah, some of you are smashing it. You had already finished part three the first week. Um, so yeah, you guys are doing so much better than I am. So if you are like me and you haven't stitched part three yet, don't worry about it because even the person hosting it is behind. So we don't need to worry about it. Okay, so what I normally do with the, the sal, I always give a shout out to somebody who is also stitching along with the stitch along. And for today's episode, I'm actually gonna be giving a shout out to Emma. And Emma has actually finished her project. I'll put up her details so you can go and give her a follow over on Instagram but she has actually finished her project, which is amazing. So she started Sunshine, which is the beautiful um, swan with the beautiful sunflowers that are like just in front of the swan's face. And yeah, she has finished it, which is amazing. And this is the thing, like this stitch along, you don't have to go with the parts. The parts are just there to help you along with getting that finish in this year, by the end of the year. And um, yeah, it's amazing to see that you have already finished the project and it just looks amazing. And I can't wait to see it fully finished and framed. I don't know what your plan is, Emma, with it, but um, yeah, I can't wait to see what you do with it. So uh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. You have done an amazing, amazing job with that. So uh, yeah, go and give her a follow and go and give a like on her picture. In my last video, I did a giveaway for reaching 2,000 subscribers and I have already reached out to the winners, but I just wanted to give you an update on who had won them. And so I will put up there the pictures of who won Believe in Christmas and that was by Jodie's Creative Corner. 
and the Collider Quilt by Caterpillar Cross Stitch was won by Lizzie Fisher. And uh, yeah, just a huge thank you to everyone who entered. It was really nice to read all the comments that you guys left on my last video. And um, yeah, just congratulations to the winners. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I have very much received a lot of stitchy kindness from people. And I just want to share some more stitchy kindness because my mum has been super, super busy and she has been making me all sorts of amazing things to help me with my stitching. I'm not gonna show it all because I will show it when I potentially am stitching on that project, I can show you what she has made. But one thing I haven't, um, I haven't done anything with yet, so I thought it was a good one to share with you because I feel like this is gonna be used for my next project. And that is, she made me this amazing project bag. And she also made me some amazing things that are inside it. So I shared this fabric with you, I think in one of my previous videos, and it's this gorgeous blue fabric, which I think one of you, I think it might've been Sarah, you asked for the link for this fabric because it is fabulous fabric. And so my mom has made me a bag out of it and she's put this gorgeous zip detailing into the bag with this lovely gold um, binding fabric around the edges but she didn't just stop there she also made me a little matching um, thread pouch to match the bag as well and she also made me a little fabric sorry a little thread catcher as well and again she put this lovely little sew machine detail in as the little needle minder area. So I haven't used any of these yet and I'm so excited to use them. My mum actually asked me today to have I used them and the projects that she's made me these for I haven't actually touched yet but I'm so excited to see how they work because I know that this kind of fuzzy material which is just fusible fleece which is what I normally put in the bags, just keeps your threads in place and um, it's really going to come in handy because I do feel like I do waste some threads, which I feel like, you know, it doesn't really go back on the thread uh, minder, you know, card or whatever because it's quite small. But I think I could potentially use it for the odd stitch here and there where the, the stitching is potentially a bit more confetti heavy. And so these are going to come in really, really handy for that. So uh, yeah, she made me all of these amazing project bags and pieces. So thank you so much, mom. Um, I love them. They are going to come in really, really handy. And I will definitely send you a picture of the project I choose to put in the bag. Moving into haul, I have bought quite a few little pieces this month, mainly patterns and fabric. So we'll go through them. So we'll start with the patterns. And the first one is Pantini Pantini Autumn. And I've been desperate to start this. And it does come with the supporting buttons that you can see on the pillow. It doesn't come with the pins, they are sold separate, but the the buttons that you can see on the pillow are in, are included, which is one thing I really, really love about Pontini Pontini patterns is you do get the buttons, the supporting buttons where not all, um, not all designers include their buttons. So yeah, I am, um, this is very much on the cards and if I finish the chorus um, line, I will be starting my autumn pieces 100%. So the next pattern I bought was from, again, Nimble Thimble, and that is the Autumn Lane, Love Grows Here. And you guys know I love this one. I have spoken about it before and I finally got my hands on it. Nimble Thimble do carry Autumn Lane stitchery um, designs. They're not always showing in their shop. So if you do ever want a uh, pattern, always drop Chris an email and she may have it in stash. I asked her if she had any autumn lane and she sent me a list. So um, yeah, she she potentially does have a design that you, you like. So um, always give her an email. So yeah, I now have my first autumn lane project. Don't know when I'm gonna start it, but I now have it in stash. 
The next one is from Create Nostalgia, which I got when I went with Evelyn, and that is Country Cottage Needleworks Forest Snowfall. And this is very much a project that I will do to sit alongside Frosty Forest. I think these ones will go very much together. And on it, it says, while snow is softly falling, gliding gently to the ground, our neighbors from the forest cozy up and gather around. And I just love that. I think it's really sweet. And um, I think it might be one maybe that I stitch once I finish Fossy Forest and then I can stitch this and potentially it can all go together. So yeah, that's the last one that I got. So they are the patterns that I've bought. Now we'll move on to fabric. So the first one is 32 Count Murano Cotton Even Weave and I bought this off eBay. I'll get it out. I do have some amazing um, shops that I shop from on eBay and I'll link them below. Um, I'll link the shop that I bought this from below. So this is a really nice neutral, neutral gold Murano. And as you know, I'm not really a fan of linen. I much prefer um, Murano and so it's really nice to find some naturals. So that is the first one and then from the same shop This is the top. I feel like this is very close to the natural Belfast linen It just has a bit more of a brown tone to it. So if, if I put them together, you might be able to see um, but I think this is a really good replacement for if you don't want to use linen and you want to use even weave and you want that kind of natural colour, um, this is a really one, a good one to go with but it does have more of a brown undertone whereas I feel like the natural um, isn't as brown as, as this one. So they are the two naturals that I've got. I'm thinking of using these potentially for some of the autumn pieces that I've got in plan. Um, and then the last one is also from Create Nostalgia. And this is a gorgeous colour. And this is 32 count linen vintage stone grey. And it's this gorgeous like stormy, stormy grey which is lovely. And I think this would look really nice with the Twin Peak Primitives Snowman 2021. It would look nice with the Snowfall Forest or Frosty Snow, I can't remember what it's called now. What's it called? I think it would look nice with, where's it gone? Forest Snowfall. So I think that would look lovely as well. The last thing I'm going to share with you is a freebie. And I came across this when I was browsing on Cressetta Gogo's Instagram and they have quite a lot of freebies. So if you um, are looking for some freebies or you're looking to kind of try out some of the Cressetta Gogo designs, then I will link below to their blog and they have lots of lots of freebies. And this one is from 2019 and I'm gonna hold it back because I want you to go over and support them over on their blog. And this is the autumn, this is the autumn cross stitch. And I just think it's, I just think it's a lovely. And they have a spring one, a Christmas one, um, a winter one. They have all sorts of different seasons, all in the same uh, style. It's 80 by 71, so it's not too big. And I just think it would be perfect to stitch during the autumn season because you would be able to get quite a quick finish on this as well. You could make it into a pillow, you could frame it, you could do all sorts with this. So this is very much in my September plans if I manage to get some more finishes and hopefully I can, um, I can get this stitched up and finished ready to display during the autumn period. So uh, yeah, that is my freebie for this video. And that is it guys, that is everything. That is everything that I have to talk to you about today. And it's been really nice to catch up with you all again and share with you all of my stitching because it has been way too long and hopefully the next time it won't be as long. So 
thank you very much for spending some time with me. I hope you're all well and staying safe and enjoying the autumn vibes that we're getting here. Um, if you are not getting autumn and you're maybe in winter or you're in summer, I hope you're enjoying your season as well. And yeah, so that's it from you guys. I hope you have a lovely week ahead of you and I'll speak to you in the next one.